Hi, I'm Isabel Hawkins, and I'm an astronomer and educator at the Exploratorium Museum in San Francisco. And I'm here working in partnership with the Center for Science Education at UC Berkeley and the Maya community to celebrate Maya astronomy within the International Year of Astronomy, which is 2009. The Exploratorium and the Center for Science Education at UC Berkeley Space Sciences Lab have been working together for many years to make astronomy accessible within the broadest cultural context. Science is nothing more than another form of human expression like art and uh, like many other beautiful things that we do, music, literature. And so placing science within its proper cultural context is very effective for science teaching and learning. Today's focus is on Maya astronomy, and of course the Maya over thousands of years have embedded astronomy into every part of uh, their cultural expression. The ancient Maya were incredible astronomers, mathematicians, and, and scientists in general. So when people first learn more about that, and then they realize that it's very much in their culture, in their heritage, then the connection with uh, current science is it's more clear. So people feel more motivated to learn about, about that because they don't feel that it's alien to their own culture. There's activities uh, for the family in which kids will do hands-on experiments using UV beads and uh, we'll learn about the scale of the sun or system. We'll be able to look through a solar telescope, some of them for the very first time. Uh, we'll also have uh, demonstrations of uh, textile weaving um, related to mathematics and geometry. And we're also going to have talks by archaeologists, by engineers, uh, astronomers, and physicists, both from Mexico and from the United States, who are going to share the latest astronomical knowledge of the Maya and of NASA with the public today. You see it? You know, family might have preconceived ideas about what science is and often been exposed to it in the classroom as learning formulae, uh, learning maths, remembering facts, when in reality what science is is actually a hands-on experience of trying to understand the way the world works. When you bring the whole family together, then all these activities or these uh, science activities don't, are not as alien to the parents. The kids at the school are learning a lot of these contents but in this environment, the parents are also part of that uh, learning. And when you see the spark of recognition of, oh, that's what's making this happen, that's the same thing that happens with our experiments using satellites and telescopes. And it's exactly the same experience. Learning is enhanced through relationship uh, and through partnership and collaboration. And especially when you're working with underserved communities, uh, relationship is fundamental and it establishes um, dependability uh, through that relationship and I think that that's what's really appreciated. People don't have to have um, specialized knowledge or they don't have to have a specific degree to be able to participate in education and outreach from a NASA perspective. Um, all you need is eagerness to learn, you need to be curious, and you need to love nature, you need to love the stars. Connecting these two uh, communities, the, the, the Maya uh, community in this case and the NASA scientists uh, communities, we are showing that science is very much a human uh, activity, it's a human endeavor and, and it's not separate, it's, it, science is not its own entity there in a lab separated from the rest of the community. Some of NASA's programs are San uh, another one um, that they do very well is Solar Week, and the other uh, work that NASA does very well is train teachers through teacher workshops. 